Hey guys, my name is Yvette and welcome to my DIY channel and I hope that you guys are having a great day. So I wanted to show you guys how to make really cute and easy trinket trays. So let's just get started. Okay guys, so to make our trinket trays, I traced out these three free templates and I'll link them down in the description box for you. Start out by wedging your clay and then roll it out. We're going to start out with the mushroom shaped trinket dish. Just lay it on top of your clay and then using my needle tool, I'm going to lightly trace it out. Remove the paper and now I'm going to press all the way down deep into the clay with my needle tool and fully cut out the mushroom shape. And now remove the extra clay. Using some water, I'm going to smooth out the edges with my fingers. Taking my needle tool, I'm just going to go around the mushroom and clean up any rough edges. Grab some more clay and roll it out like you guys see me doing. And then right here, I'm going to press down on it so it can be flat. With my scraper tool, I'm going to make the edges straighter. Now I'm going to lift up that piece of clay that we made flat and I'm going to put it around our mushroom to give it its border so that any jewelry we have on our tray doesn't fall out. And then just do that all around the mushroom. Once you like how your mushroom is looking, set it aside to dry for at least 24 hours. One debt to society later. So here's our mushroom dry and now it's time to paint. I'm painting the stem a light beige and I'm going to cover the top of the mushroom with a napkin because I'm going to speckle the stem with some brown paint. First, I decided to paint the mushroom this minty color that you guys see here, but then I didn't really like it so I decided to go with just a classic red. Last but not least, make sure to paint in the little scales on top. The best part about these is that they don't have to be even. I'm going to seal this using my favorite sealer, which is Deco Arts Triple Thick Gloss Glaze. I love this stuff so much. And then we're done, and I love this tray so much. It's so precious. Ugh, oh, I'm obsessed. this tray we're going to be making the moon so just roll out your clay. The way I'm doing it is a little weird because I ran out of the type of clay I was using since I was finishing up a tub so just roll out your clay normally. We're going to be doing the exact same thing we just did. Trace out your shape and then fully cut it out. For this tray, I'm going to be pinching the ends to give it like a border so that whatever we put on it doesn't roll off. Taking some water on my hands, I'm going to smooth everything out to make it nice and even. Using my needle tool, I'm just cleaning up the edges. And then once you're happy with what you've got, set it aside to dry the next day. Here's our moon dry and now it's time to paint. I painted mine a deep peachy pink and then taking some gold on my finger I'm just going to smear it all around the edge borderline of the moon. Mm -hmm. 
taking some more of that peachy pink, I'm just going to clean up some places where I wasn't too neat with the gold. Using a toothpick, I'm just going to start drawing on little random star designs all over the moon, and I want this to look very cluttered. So here's my design after I was finished doing everything and I loved it, but for some reason I wasn't loving the color as much as I wanted to. So I decided to repaint it with a lilac purple and then I drew on the same design I had done before. Now I'm going to seal it with that triple thick gloss glaze and we're done. Okay guys, moving on to our last tray, make sure you roll out some more clay and we're going to place the monstera leaf on top and then just trace it out. Before you pull off the paper monstera, make sure to trace out the little design on the leaf using your needle tool. You don't have to press too hard on this, just press lightly. Your design should appear just like this and now you can fully cut out the leaf. Using the back of a thin paintbrush, I'm going to trace out the leaf's veins to make them a little deeper. And then with my needle tool, I'm going to cut out the little fenestrations in the leaf. Using some water, I'm going to smooth everything out. And now I'm going back in with the back of that paintbrush to make the veins a little bit more prominent again. Once you like how your leaf is looking, set it aside to dry. And I wanted mine to kind of like curve up at the ends. So I placed it inside of a plate, but that was a little bit too much of a curve. So I placed it on a little bit more of a flatter plate. One minute, 37 seconds later. So here's our leaf dry and now we can paint. I'm using a light cream to paint this and I'll link the colors I used down in the description box. Using a brown paint, I'm going to speckle my leaf. I'm going to paint the border of the leaf a champagne gold. Once again, I'm going to seal this leaf using Deco Arts triple thick gloss glaze. And there we go guys, we're done and this leaf just came out so gorgeous. Alright 
right guys so that's it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching if you want to see more air dry clay videos i have a full playlist on my channel and i'll link it down in the description box for you guys so yeah subscribe for more diys and stay safe stay healthy and i'll see you guys in my next video bye